everybody welcome back to another vlog today we are traveling it's a little bit a little bit different it's not going to be parks or anything but we're traveling to um Kentucky. Lexington? yeah no well technically i guess we're flying into nashville and then we are getting in a van and driving up to claremont kentucky because... where we're gonna run 200 miles Yes, we are running the Ragnar Relay race with 10 other people. We only know one of them. We're about to catch our flight. It boards in about five minutes. So we are gonna make our way on to Nashville and come along with us for a little interesting running weekend. to Nashville we got our van and two of our people how many are we missing two, two. fans actually pretty sweet it's got like a TV in here may see if I can hook up some Netflix I'm, I'm kidding about the Netflix I'm gonna drive this thing what are you doing back there hi there just loading the van here <laughs> To our Airbnb we have what time is it? it's 11 15 at night so we have like five and a half hours before we have to get up we're there to get up about 4 45 be ready to leave here at 5 30 we're about 30 minutes from the start line which is at Jim Beam which is a distillery here in Kentucky and then um, Chris starts us off tomorrow with like seven miles so we'll see you in the morning what? James okay, we made it to James, Jim, not James. We keep saying James. To Jimmy James Jim, Beam. Jim Beam. This is our starting point. Like we got there. about three or four hours of sleep at the Airbnb. Super cute Airbnb. I'll link it below if y'all are ever going to be in the um, Bourbon Trail area of Kentucky. And uh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> We had all of our check-in online, which was nice. Josh, our team captain, got all that figured out. At nighttime, you have to wear reflective vests and a couple other like safety measures. So they're getting Chris, he's our, since he's our first runner, he's getting set up with all that. And he's got about 30 minutes before he starts running. So, and then the party begins. This next team is called the Bungholes. <laughs> Please tell me that that is a reference to my favorite 1990s cartoon, Soul Train. Woo! Yes, I feel whatever that happens. Give him some love, Bourbon Chase! Let's go, boys!
Holy moly. Yeah, that hill. The way that ended. That hill was. Holy <laughs> shit. I got a road kill. Did you really? Up the hill. You made a friend. You didn't get a road kill. No, I road killed him. Him right there. He passed me, and then I was like, oop, I'm going ahead. Hello from two sleepy, sleep deprived sleepersons. <laughs> I don't remember the last time we updated. It may have been at the end of my race, my first one, maybe. Since then, our van has completed our first round, gotten food. Had a small nap. Had a nap in the van. <laughs> that was fun. That was a first experience. And now um, it's what, 5.35? You're about to or start again for our second leg. Yep, I have so our four van. Miles. You have four? Yep. That's not bad. No. Not, not as bad as your first one. And your last one kind of sucks. But anyway, so we're about to do our second one. Our van two is wrapping up theirs. And then also got a hat, which is fun. I'm excited about that. And um, got a little yeah. block party going on while people are coming in. Yeah, it's we're, fun. We're in Danville, Kentucky. And. Um, it looks like the city has cooperated a lot with Ragnar, and it's really cool. Like yeah. this is um, this whole little area is like a little set up as a party, and um, this is our race exchange for our vans. So the other van is done, ours will take over, and then we'll do six legs or whatever. So. Yeah, some of the race exchanges are really small, like in like when the vans are going, like in between the racers of the van. Like if Chris and I were swapping, they're small and it's really quick. But the bigger ones where the vans actually swap from one van running to the next six van six people in the van running it's bigger like this one which is fun so we're gonna go see what's going on i think you probably have about 30 40 minutes before the next runner we're relatively on pace which is great i think i have six and a half for this one 6.6 6. so this is my longest one i'm not gonna crush it do i look do i look nice and supple and ready in the country, rolling hills, can't wait. Pray for me. Bye. How am I doing this right now? What is my life? <laughs> Straight up a freaking hill, right off the bat. Calves are already burning. Woo! <laughs> Hello, midnight from a hotel room. We both finished our second legs. Chris's was four-ish, mine was 6.6. .6. A grueling six for me, but lots of mental and physical battles overcome. Definitely my best run. I got 2.2 .2 tomorrow. Chris has got another seven-ish. Um, we have two of our guys down who are not feeling well. Our other van got a hotel and they let us get the key cards and come and we're gonna get a whopping two hours of sleep. And um, we have to be back up around 2 o'clock to get over for Chris to start running around 2.45, 3 o'clock. So, whoop, whoop. It'll be our third leg, final leg. We're meeting in Lexington for the final little bit. So, this is kind of the last big push. This is where it says it gets just exhausting and hard. So...
right, so Alex is like half a mile away from hers. I just finished mine. It was um, pretty tough. The elevation like really started to hurt. Three and a half miles in, I started doing some like pretty serious hills. And then once I got on the other side of it, it was pretty smooth. Uh, so we're actually in Woodford right now, a little small town. And Alex is about to, uh, she's about to finish up her last leg of the race. Uh, so we're gonna go try and catch her. Nice job! You're done! since I've talked on the vlog. Officially, our car is done. We went back and showered at a hotel, which was a really good idea. And now we're at Lexington Distillery and Brewing Company in Lexington, Kentucky for the after party, which you can kind of see. Got a big old pizza that we're gonna eat, which all of us are hungry. And we're gonna meet up with the rest of our team who is finishing their legs right now. And then uh, we get to run through the arch together, get our medals, and then we're gonna call this Ragnar done at that point. We're back after like <laughs> two, two weeks. Two weeks. <laughs> we were really tired at the end of that video and then once we got back here there was this little thing called Hurricane Milton that kind of uh, delayed us getting the video out. So we did want to add a couple of extra thoughts about uh, the experience and just kind of like what you can expect if you're doing something like this. So it was your first time yes. doing, uh, what did you think? I feel like if you would have asked in the last my last running portion. So my hip was really hurting. If you would have asked me then, I would have said no because I was sleep deprived and point, in pain. But looking back at the footage and looking back just at our experience, it was a lot of fun. I'm real glad I did it. The mental battle that I went through for, especially my night run, my six and a half mile, which we didn't get a lot of footage on that, but it was really struggle for me. It was good. I would, I would, I think I would do it again. So this was your second Ragnar. How do you feel between the first one several years ago to your experience with this one? Yeah, I think a lot of it changed and a lot of like kind of what you were saying about the people. Um, the people that you do it with matter and this was a really good group, both fans, super high energy. Um, I think the other biggest difference is the preparation. So like last time, whenever I ran it, I could do dumb stuff to my body and my body would just recover and it was fine. Um, but this go around, I was so much more prepared. I was a way, way better runner. And I like mentally knew what I was gonna have to do to get myself to the level to like, not only was I doing this, but I actually like had fun doing it. And like, I know sometimes you're thinking, like long race, you know, isn't that a miserable thing to do to your body? Well, people do it because yes. like for a reason, you know, like, yes, it is a hard thing, but you can't just like walk through life doing all 
easy, fun things, you know? We've talked about it before. Unwinding sometimes is doing hard stuff that you feel the growth. Uh, I felt I felt that a lot in this. I, I felt like I was, I grew a lot to prepare for it, and then like mentally I was able to just like do it, and it was super fun. So yes, I would 100% do another one. So thank y'all so much for watching this one. I know it's a little bit different than some of the other videos that we put out, but uh, we wanted to share this experience because we thought it was really unique and it was fun to us. And we both enjoyed doing this vlog and getting to have this kind of very unique experience together and with 10 other people. So yeah, and we're slowly becoming runners too. So uh, <laughs> emphasis on the slowly. So we have half marathons we have a full marathon coming up in january so we're gonna have some more running experiences that we'll vlog for sure so yep the next one is the run disney wine and dine half marathon it's in two weeks so we'll have a vlog out in probably the next month or so with that one this was our ragnar relay vlog i'm alex and i'm chris don't forget to do something that helps you unwind this week even if it's something that's a little bit difficult and challenges you bye y'all